I got my public health degree as well as my nursing degree. PA program, physician assistant. I was BSN, an accelerated program with these fine ladies. I was in the PA studies. I was in the nursing program. Chess was great. They gave me so many opportunities to learn and all the teachers were fantastic. Um, they were all really empowering and I felt like that was really important to like my success with the school. Every single day is something different. I spent some time right across the street at St. Vincent's doing surgery and then I was up at Dartmouth. Um, so literally every day is something different and you just when you think you know what you're doing, things change. It's been a roller coaster. <laughs> I think that's the easiest way to put it. I would say it was definitely very tough two years in terms of schooling and everything, but overall I had a very good experience. It's difficult, but rewarding. At least once a week, there's kind of a talk regarding um, where you're going, how you're gonna get there, professionalism. We do a whole course on kind of professionalism and gearing towards um, your clinical year, which is the second year. So yeah, definitely they prepare you very well. MCPHS helped me a lot with the professional world because we have nine rotations throughout our clinical year. And so it really gets you into the workforce and you get to know what it's like to work in those different settings for five weeks. So MCPHS does a really great job of setting those up for you all throughout New England. They help you along the whole way. So every five weeks you go back to the school, your advisor checks in with you, see how things are going, what you liked, what you didn't like, what you have next. So even though you're out sort of in the real world doing rotations, you're not just forgotten about. And instead of just giving you easy assignments that they know you're going to be good at, they give you the assignments they know you're going to be bad at and then help you through it. A lot of other programs that I looked into don't have real patients. They maybe use either cadavers or um, like plastic mannequins. And the human factor to me is what most of medicine is about. People are unpredictable, mannequins aren't. So I would say having real live patients throughout the entire PA experience was the biggest factor for me. If you're prepared for a very vigorous program and you're willing to do the work, then MCPHS is like perfect for you. The faculty truly care about you as a student and uh, we had our dean of our campus, she used to joke that she's like the mom and she plays the mom card all the time. And it's great because they actually care about what you're doing and where you're going with your life and they really invest in you and I think that's the best thing. I'd probably say location, location, location. Um, in the heart of Worcester, obviously there's a few great hospitals around, you're close to Boston. If you're considering MCPHS, just know that you're going to be really prepared for your future because I, when I was looking through my programs, this one had all of it together. They like set up all your rotations so you don't have to stress about that. Some other schools you have to set up your own. They're very supportive throughout, which I was looking for as well. So they actually have mentors for you. They're second years that will help the first years um, and you don't really get that a lot of other programs. What sets MCPHS apart is that they truly prepare you to pass the NCLEX. We actually have a really wonderful career development center. Um, we have a woman named Marie Sullivan who helped us write resumes, write cover letters. She reviewed all of them personally and we actually got to do a mock interview with her. So answering all these questions and then having someone professional grade you back before doing it for real was definitely a game changer for me. It's definitely been a challenge. Um, <laughs> that's an understatement, but it's definitely worth it. And I'm excited to see what happens going forward. Please let the processional begin. At this time, I ask all graduates to move the tassel from the right to the left, signifying your entrance into the community of professionals who have earned this degree. Congratulations! I didn't know him for two years, so, <laughs> but um, it, it was hard, but he made it through, so I'm very, very proud of him. So I feel like MCPHS has prepared him really well for the future, and I'm ready for the next chapter of his life. Elated. Very proud of her. I know she's worked really, really hard. She's gone the full road and I'm really proud of her. I feel pretty good. Um, I have an interview uh, on Friday. So yeah, I, I'm, I'm hopeful and I, I think it's a pretty employable profession. So I'm excited. It feels great. It feels wonderful. All the hard work paid off. Um, it's just uh, a great accomplishment. My heart is bobbing right now for her. I'm so proud of her. She's like my daughter. <laughs> I've been with her all the way. I think she's um, ready to go out and make a big difference and um, have a great career waiting for her. She's been with me through law school. I was her, her to nursing school. So I think we support each other throughout this entire process. And I'm very proud of her. And I can't wait to see what her next steps 
in the future for her career will be. I know it was a, it was a big struggle in the very beginning, you know, especially with an accelerated program like this. But yeah, we're extremely proud of her, definitely. I'm going to be working in the North Shore area of Boston, so I'm going to be working as a hygienist there. But um, I'm just working on getting my boards yet. So after graduation, the next step is getting our boards, and then we can start getting things on the roll. It's been a whirlwind for sure, but she's worked so incredibly hard. And I've seen all the sacrifices that she's she's made and the, the sleepless nights. and. <laughs> and uh, just the intense uh, devotion to, to this and, and her path and, and the whole time I've known her, she's been destined for this. So I'm so incredibly proud of her. I'm feeling great. I'm, I'm just, I'm very ready to start my career. I've been in school for like eight years now, including this one. So it's been a long time coming and I'm just excited. Really proud.